going to think of somebody else, but it's okay. Eva Longoria, para que lo sepa. She's going to be sharing her favorite recipes with all of us and her crew in LA right now. Bienvenidos and welcome to this special edition of Stella Sessions at Home during Anheuser-Busch's Reventón de Verano. Today, you are in for some delicious treats and beets with a couple of my good friends and Stella Artois. Hi, you guys! Hey, what's up, what's up? I'm so excited to, like, be in person with people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. It's a really exciting time to actually, specifically sharing a meal with yeah. loved ones. This is an exciting time to rebuild that bonding again. It's the most intimate thing you can do. It's, you know, it's, the, it's my favorite thing to do, other than eating and drinking part, <laughs> but the conversing as well, Speaking right? Of. Right? Yeah, why don't you make yourself useful and, and pour Karen a beer? So we're gonna make tacos, okay? I mean, I've, I've already made them, so you guys are gonna assemble the tacos. Okay. And what pairs great with tacos? Stella. Cervecita. <laughs> so these are two of my favorite recipes. I've been making them since I was like a kid. We have uh, chicken tacos with tomatillo sauce and crema. And then we have my famous chili rub skirt steak tacos. Are you eating? Are you tasting early? Sorry. I'm not supposed to. <laughs> I'm seeing you're going to work. I'm like, hey man, you seem like you need a hand. Wait, you gotta taste it. I got it. Taste one. Ay, que rico. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Oh my God. So and tell me a yeah. little bit about your, what's your, what's the secret? What's, in, what's secret? going on over here? It's full of very traditional Mexican ingredients like cilantro, serrano chiles, and good old guacamole. And through the years of living in Texas and different parts of the US, I've been adding my own touch. You look at the chili dry rub, it's very Texan, very barbecue style. But my real secret is I make my own chile mix, which I grind a mix of peppercorns and different types of salts, including a Mexican sea salt from a beautiful place called Cuyutlan. And I use a lot of different types of dried chiles and a whole lot of love. Mmm. Muy bien. Good? Really good, yeah. It's so good. So wait, okay, I want to talk about culture because I don't know, Karen, if you know, Wilmer's not Mexican. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Try to play one on TV. And you were, are, you're Mexican, Mexican yeah. but you were born here. Yeah. Where are your parents from? They are from Mexicali. Mexicali. Yeah, because I'm from, so it's like Baja, California. Yeah. But wait, what's the food you can't live without from, from your like childhood? For me, it's tacos. I can't live without tacos. I could eat tacos every day for the rest of my life. It's definitely chilaquiles. Chilaquiles! I can eat chilaquiles day, night, doesn't matter. But like, do you have it with chicken? Um, you know, I like it with eggs. Like, with I eggs? I like it with like, yes, like chilaquiles, con huevo, yeah. queso fresco. Queso fresco, then, uh, uh, crema. Yeah, everything. everything. Yeah. What about you? Uh, the arepas. Are uh, very, what's an arepa? Arepa is made out of masa, right? If you can stuff all kinds of beautiful things inside, yeah. or you can, you know, have anything on top of it like a tostada, you know. So it's kind of like a very oh, like versatile tostadas. thing, and it has to be in almost every meal. I feel like we have more in common than different. Yeah, don't absolutely. you think? Especially Latinos, we're like we're so different. To, instead of identifying with what do we have in common, right. Right. and I like I like to go at it from that viewpoint. I mean, look at this table right here. Yeah. I mean, th we are very three very different people. I'm ninth generation. Wilmer's from Venezuela. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, you know what's so funny about you is that nobody knows where you're from. Everybody yeah. tried to guess when you were on that 70s show. They yeah. didn't know quite who you were. And everyone claimed the character too. Everyone was funny. It was like, he's Mexican. No, he's, definitely, he's definitely Indian. No, he's Puerto Rican. And like, there's so many people here. That, that claimed claim, you? Claimed the character, but you know, it was built by design. It was like, so people didn't really depress where he was from. We didn't want to say it was from anywhere because we wanted him to be for everyone, you know? But yeah. Did you know your life was going to change when you did that show? I knew that I was going to be able to take, just because of that one episode of that first episode, just getting the job, I knew that I was going to be able to take my parents from the 99 cent store to the regular grocery store. That's wow. the only thing I knew. That is a beautiful story. Cheers to that. <laughs> Cheers. Salud. Quiero, quiero. Salud. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's take the tacos outside. Mm. I want to eat. I really need to sit down. <laughs> Bring your beer. Bring your Stella. Okay. I got salsa. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I know. But I have also cooked up 
some spicy questions for you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that any new into saying that these sauces are all spicy? They're all very spicy. They look spicy. Very spicy. What do you mean? Very, very spicy? spicy. And you can either choose to answer the question okay. or dare to eat one of my spicy salsas. You are probably just gonna eat all the spicy I'm salsas anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna ask you here, you actually pick a card, pick a card, Karen. Mm. Ladies first. I'm gonna ask you a spicy question from my Stella coasters. Okay, oh, what would you wish Hollywood would finally get right about Latino representation? Do you wanna answer this or would you like a, a chip? <laughs> you know what, I'll do both. I'll, I'll answer and then I okay. will. Um, okay, I will take a chip. I think just very similar to what I told you guys earlier, how I feel like there is just, like there's so many of us out there and um, we all come in different colors and different sizes. and. I feel like sometimes when you watch TV or you watch movies, it's kind of the same person being portrayed all the time. Yeah. Um, so I would love to see different different people mm -hmm. in there. Doing and, different things. Oh yeah, of course. A good friend of mine said, always with us, never without us, right? Always with us, never without us. It's important that as we start telling our stories and we have a bigger a stage to really amplify who we really are on mm -hmm. screen, that we are in that room when that when that story is being right. told, you know, always with us and never without us. Mm -hmm. That's a good, we should put that on a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> salud, salud, always no. with us, never, never without, without us. us. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, taste your salsa though. <laughs> I answer so I don't have to go I did, I added something to my yeah. It's really good. Okay, Wilmer. When it comes to breaking it down on the dance floor, <laughs> what's your go-to move? Oh. You gotta show us. What's your go-to move? Um, you must show us. I would show you a move that was like. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was so cool when I was growing up, and okay. I do this move, mm -hmm. and everybody's like, "Here it comes the move," and it was a move. That <laughs> do we have room for it here? <laughs> it was something where I would do something like this, and I would do this, and I would just tap my hand here, and I would just like keep dancing, but I would do this. Oh, was it part of bachata or something? And it, felt, it was a salsa move because, you know, I'm South American. <laughs> I think you should eat a chip for that anyway, because... Okay, you know what, we're, play, we're playing the chip game. I'll well, you try the middle one. So, I have another surprise for y'all, other than spicy questions. We have a guest performance right now. I want to introduce you to my friend Leslie. Hey. Hey. Leslie Grace, hey. what's up? How are we doing? How are we doing? Oh my God, it's so good to see you. We got you. the best gang over here. Look at this. Oh my God. I, like, I brought my own mic. Today. Hey, man, you, you know Wilmer. <laughs> you know oh, Wilmer. Yeah, I know this. Very you well. look so gorgeous, gorgeous as well. Do you want to cheers with us? Yes, of course I do. What do Wilmer, we got over here? Uh, well, let's Stella. cheers to the amazing career that Leslie Grace is having yes. right now, this amazing Thank moment. You. We are Thank so you. proud of you. We're so excited for you. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Oh my gosh. Mm. If I look like you and had your voice. <laughs> no, woo! please. Woo! Look at this queen this talking. Is. Different career. <laughs> Listen, you are the one <laughs> that let me know that I was able to do what I get Aww. to do today. So You're so sweet. That's, I how, really mean that's how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but this Dominicana no. from Florida? Yes. Where are you from? In I, I am originally from New York, but I was raised in Florida after I was 10. And then uh, both my parents are Dominican. I'll tell you another thing <clears throat> we all have in common as uh, Latinas is cheekbones. Good cheekbones. <laughs> Look at this cheekbone. Thank you, Mom. Yeah, Thank you. Right. <laughs> right. Tell us everything that's happening. Yes. First of all, my favorite musical of all time. I'm going to say another controversial thing. Love it more than Hamilton. Oh. <gasps> I like it more than I Hamilton. Know, I, you know, I'm a little bit biased, but <laughs> in the Heights movies coming out. That's right, June 11th. Shameless plug. What? You are Tell us about it, though. That. What are uh, we going to want to see? Um, I mean, everything that is beautiful about our culture. Um, one of my favorite things about this this musical and this movie is that um, there's so many beautiful storylines woven together in a seamless way where it feels like nobody's dreams are too small or too big to be able to happen. It was my first film, so I was just, I felt so blessed to be able to play someone that felt like myself, and you guys are gonna just fall in love with everybody in that film, oh, that I, story. I Wait, yeah. today, you're gonna sing something new today? Yes, 
So in this time, I've been working on some new music. Okay. So a lot of people know that I've, I've been working on my acting, but um, I haven't forgotten about music. And so I might just share a little something new oh, with you guys you share today with for us the now? first time. Yes. Is the first time you haven't shared this at all? No. Nope. Wow! <laughs> I, got, I got a little bit of a special performance. Yes! Do you mind singing it now for us? Yes. All right. I'll just casually step on over to this little stage. Well, we just have a tiny little stage here yeah. for you. We just so happened. We just so happened just so to have a little stage you, uh, here. You arrived at the right place. Oh, thank the Lord I put that in my background. I, I am so excited to hear this new music. Uh, I can't wait. I'm going to step right over. Okay, Girl, but take your beer with you. <laughs> take your Stella I with am. you. So here is Leslie Grace performing some new music. Grab your summer solstice and enjoy this golden moment. 